liposuction and what can go wrong. Another common cosmetic procedure that doesn't always go to plan is the use of lip fillers. UK actress Lauren Goodger, Goodger, whatever you like, was recently <laughs> spotted out with a suspiciously inflated pout, triggering rumours she's joined the growing list of celebs who have turned to collagen. I'd say she has. Yes, but all too often the quest for perfection leads to a duck mouth <laughs> with victims ruining their good looks and in some cases their careers. So is it possible to give lips a boost without taking such drastic action? Well, to give us some tips and tricks on how to get the perfect pout the natural way, we're joined by beauty expert Amanda Goff, makeup artist Mishka Mink and model Keisha. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Now can you do it without looking silly? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone do who has their lips done look silly, don't they? <laughs> look, really. I, went, I saw a cosmetic surgeon recently, for you know, as one does, and he said, I, I was toying with the idea of getting my lips done, he said, for God's sake, don't go near your lips because it's so addictive. If you have it done once, women keep on having it done, and you've seen there the celebrity photos, they just don't stop it. Point five. They no. keep on they going. They're looking like they've got two bottom lips, don't they? I'm I've sure. never yeah. seen a good Silly. lip job. No. I've never seen a good lip job. So you can run through some celebs. Yeah. Here that, who, who doesn't do a? Well, we who, saw them earlier. We saw Janice Dickerson, Lara yeah. Flynn Boyle. We saw Laura Goodyear, the UK actress. Nikki Cox, that that. That's Donatella Lara too. Lara Flynn. Yeah. Yeah. Some terrible. Li like hers aren't too bad. Absolutely shocking. That's like, wrong. Sack the, look at Janice Dickinson. Sack mm. the surgeon, I say. <laughs> Sack the surgeon. Okay, so that's, we don't want to go down that route. So we we've got the makeup artist go Mishka in here. Yeah. So Amanda, what's Mishka going to show us? And some She's going to show us how to do fake lips at home. So avoid it's needle-free lips, basically. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with always moisturise your lips first because it creates a smooth canvas. As she's doing, she's wiping some beautiful. <clears throat> moisturizer on our lip cut on our model Kaiser and then we're going to put a foundation now, this is something everyone has at home foundation creates a smooth canvas it also creates the illusion of volume already okay okay right. and then we've got a lip liner now with lip liner don't go too light and don't go too dark you want something pretty natural if you can go over the your natural lip line do as long as you do it well mm. you can't have a wonky lip liner that looks really bad. Okay, so as Mishka's doing, she's doing it really finely. Sometimes Perfect. I thought, though, with older lips, if you do the lip line, it can sort of bleed into all the That's lines. That's where the around. foundation comes mm -hmm. in oh, because it, it stops the bleeding. Okay. Okay. And then. Now, Mishka's got some lipstick, some glossy, that's kind of glossy lipstick, isn't it? It is, it is. Okay. It's a creamy lipstick. <clears throat> I would go for lip gloss or, or a glossy lipstick, which mm. creates the illusion of volume. Try and avoid dark colours or colours that are too light, because basically your lips will disappear and you absolutely don't want that. Mm. That, that the whole darker lip liner, and then some women try and do it over and above the lip line, mm. Mishka, that's a mistake, right? Definitely. You know, you want to create the most natural look. Right. So definitely match your lips. It, but some women can do the lip liner over their natural lips and it can look good, but does, if, you, if you're not sure about it, Todd, you're looking fascinating. No, I just want to know if you're a man, what do you do? If you're a man, you're with thin well, lips, you're just you're tough. Stuffed. It's just tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough. It's, and besides, men aren't supposed to have big thick lips. It's, 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 you know, it's the Eve yeah, but you thing. Don't want to be no. <laughs> so, Mishka, you've, you've got a trick here for us. What's that to help us? First so of all, mm. just to add a little bit more of an illusion of a fuller lip, you want to apply a little bit of a luminizer just okay, above the lip. Okay, we could just get the model to the face. That yes, thank you. Yeah, just like right, this. Yeah. And then, lastly, just to match up the lips beautifully with the cheeks. So, could you just do again what you just did? Things. I'm not sure I've got just what you did. Just a little bit of a luminizer just on the cupid's bow. Oh, to catch the light. Exactly. It reflects the light, creates a fuller pout. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lastly, if your lips are looking this fabulous, you definitely want to add a pop of colour on the cheeks. So I'll just get you to smile, get your cheekbones popping out, the apples. And I'm literally just using a cream blush with a bit of a sponge. How's that, it on. How's that helping our lips? It's basically going to, you know, help tie in the colour. Okay. So right. it just creates a fresh that's look. That's great. Well, that's great. I'm going to go home and do it myself now. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for, <laughs> for sharing. Don't you dare. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming in, guys. Thanks, Thank guys. You. And a, lot, a lippy at 30 bucks is a lot cheaper than lip. Oh, and you don't have so stupid. I know. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Uh, okay, coming up soon for you. An affair or your money back? The website promising potential adulterers 